It's time. Let's get it. In let's the last do it. few days, our team has received some incredible intel from an anonymous source. A mysterious Stellaron burst has occurred. I like this little homie in the corner. <clears throat> We're lucky to have with us in the studio. Oh, let me the move. Lafu, Sky bearing hell, Master Madam, you call. I'll move up here. As well as Mr. I'll move here. Get out of the way. <laughs> New overlays. I love you, Shane. What's going on, my love? Mwah. Yes, sir. New overlays, baby. Oh, they're like animated. Like they're not just little chibis. Are animated. That's sick. I hear you experienced the crisis. That's fire. Okay. Also, how are you feeling today, Shin? Well, I was trapped in the Law Foos Cloudford Harbor. Oh, uh, it was only thanks uh, to the cloud here we go. Nights. That's and sick, bro. With kindly strangers that I, I know it's such a small little detail, but still. That's the CN Joe Alliance. I knew you guys had everything under control. <laughs> like, look at the bird. Look at the owl. Of course, of this crisis, we've witnessed a lot of suspicious activity. We believe the infamous Stellaron hunters are responsible. <clears throat> Living life, baby, do you know how we do? I love you. I'm happy to hear that. And Kafka. W. Unfortunately, <gasps> their accomplice is still on the loose. Blade and Kafka. Uh, Get his eye, the owl. Hacker girl, right? The hacker girl. I heard she infiltrated the Sinjo systems. She actually leaves behind a calling card. Like this one. Exactly. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby. <gasps> okay, trailer. All right, let's see what it's about. All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. Oh! What we're for. You know the music's gonna be make the stink face. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. But challenge me. Good luck. Good luck. You look different, new haircut, weight loss, big D. Everything's right except the big D. Unfortunately, I don't have, I'm not a, a part of the girthy cock Fridays, unfortunately. But I love you, thank you, Shin. I'm also growing my hair out now. I like you. Oh, is this the event? I think I'm in love with you, Shin. Mwah. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nah, this man. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. Bailu. Bro. Bro. Yo, bro, that's sick. That's fire. That's fire. Ethan, there's no way that's not auto chill. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not saying anything anymore. I, I get yelled at for my auto slander. You'll understand when you finish Honkai Impact. Nope. No, I won't. My auto slander will forever, forever, ever be the same. Shout out to the uh, free primos right here. I think they've given us an extra hundred for the delay that happened from earlier. Shin, have you tried out Star Rail at all, by the way, my love? <clears throat> or it's just not your type of game? This shit is so loud in my ears, but I'm too lazy to lower it. And I also have to take a massive piss. No, I'm so lazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, Shin. I really... Oh, why am I sitting here and waiting? It's a video. We could skip around. Duh. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I've sucked into Valorant too much. I feel you. I feel you. Listen, I don't I don't like turn-based games, and I really love this game. It's genuinely a great video game. I love that the chibis are just, like, completely animated. Hi guys, my name is Melissa Fox. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
Hey folks, my name's Craig Lee Thomas, and I voice Lock Chop. What up, Craig? Hey everyone, I'm Don M. Bennett, and I voice Yukong. Pleasure to have you with us. And now, without further ado, the owl is my favorite. So. The Honkai Star Rail version 1.1. Yes, sir. What's new, Craig? Well, judging from the trailer we just saw, it looks like all three areas got some updates. Heard a space station, Bellabog, and the Sienjo Long. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but Silver Wolf got the first bit of screen time. <laughs> Are you sponsored by Honka by chance? Send the link. I'll download it right now. I wish. Nah, they would never download. They would never sponsor me. I talk too much shit about Genshin, bro. They wouldn't do it. You're not allowed to say anything bad about uh, Hoyo to be sponsored. Mm, yeah. Fuck them. All right, let's see it. Content in development. I'm like 85% sure this is the character from Honkai Star Rail who does the painting. Excuse me, Honkai Impact? I could be wrong, though. I could be 100% wrong, but it gives me that type of vibes. Am I late? Yo, Natsu, you're literally like only three minutes late, not even. <clears throat> oh, they're Quantum? Okay. Oh! Five star? Okay, I didn't expect that. What did I miss? Literally nothing. Just the trailer. Just the trailer. Nothing else. <laughs> I think you couldn't have timed that better. I thought this was going to be a four star, truthfully. Silver Wolf, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Yukong is a four star? Okay. Got you. So everyone else is the five stars. Silver so Wolf is a queen. Silver Wolf is. Alright, okay. I don't know if she was that important. And guided the Astral Express crew. She a whole queen. <laughs> you guys know that this is all pretty illegal, right? Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. Not I guess illegal. what we're trying to say is Silver Wolf <coughs> is capable oh, of me. <coughs> I'm going to use her in a monoquano team. That sounds like, like a crazy team. Dude, she could add weakness to enemies. Oh, really? That's her. That's what she does? Okay. Okay. I assume that they're going to go into her kit after. No. No. <coughs> it's one of the things she does. Gotcha. That's crazy. Oh, yes. That's the whole reason I want to use Mono for Amazing Breakage. Breakage. She's a nerd. I like that. She's a nerd. Not great at socializing. Oh, same. Really? Huh. She always struck me as pretty outgoing. Uh, hmm. no. I guess she does have a lot of friends. We don't, we don't socialize here. She's an outgoing nerd with poor social skills and a lot of friends. <laughs> That's quite the combo. Well, if you struggle to make socializing, friends, who exactly? Melissa, you're talking Never heard of them. Imaginary friends, right? I'm not sure that counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This guy okay, thinks he's genius. He thinks he's funny. Talking about the AI modules in her weapons. See these little guys on her character artwork? That's friend. There's devil. This one over here is white collar. Oh, and this one's servant. <coughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty adorable. When so they are adorable. Talks about her team of professionals, she's talking about these guys. Oh, cool. Hold on a second. Since when did AI become so adorable? <laughs> Yo, the owl, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna keep saying that owls... <laughs> goaded, he's my favorite. It's thanks to Silver Wolf's hacking skills that she's been able to forge such a fearsome reputation at such a young age. <laughs> Let's take a look at his strength. Well, Silver Wolf is a quantum-type character <clears throat> right, on the path it. of nihility. She can apply different debuffs to enemies to improve okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. combat superiority. In particular, her skill can inflict a weakness on enemies. The weakness she inflicts matches a random ally's attack type. Oh. Okay. If nobody on her team has an attack type which matches an enemy's weakness, Server Wolf can create a weakness. Oh. Ally's existing strength. Okay. Wow. Every one of Silver Wolf's attacks has a chance of inflicting the enemy with a random buff. That's actually really good. Which reduce the enemy's attack, defense, and speed, respectively. Defense speed. And outside of combat, Silver Wolf can use her technique to attack an enemy and enter battle. Regardless of enemy weakness, she deals damage to oh. all enemies and reduces their toughness. Oh, wow. If Silver Wolf 
breaks an enemy's weakness with her technique, it okay. triggers the quantum weakness. She's break. breaking the game. It, it, that's what it sounds like. What else was I gonna mention? Uh, oh. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy. Silverwolf's ultimate has a high chance of reducing the enemy's defense in addition to dealing damage. Imagine this with like Sila and Branya. And that other four star that goes with Seely that I can't remember the name of at the moment. Stop there either. Did I mention her ability names? There is system warning, allow changes, awaiting system response, force quit program. Oh, you get the picture. Yeah. Oh, was there one called a 10 set guarantee? Oh, oh, oh. Or how about single war miracle? <laughs> <laughs> Sadly not. Her ultimate's called User Band, though. <laughs> User Band. Oh, I know what that is. <coughs> There's a talking owl. There's a talking owl. There's a talking owl on that, too. Well, it's time to move on to the CN Joe's mysterious visitor. Okay. The traveling merchant. Let's see. This homie. I want this homie just because he's such a chad. Look how handsome this man is, bro. Tell me this is the most handsome man of all time. <clears throat> Straight off the bat, man knows how to dress. Oh my god. I know you said it before, but like, can we get an imaginary character that's not five star, please? Can we can we get a four-star imaginary? Is that okay? Is that is that possible? Walters into your hometown dressed like an aristocrat from another planet, but he knows all the local Yukong? customs. Is that character imaginary? Right? Yukong is imaginary as well. Oh, okay. Oh, we're chilling. <laughs> right, my, my prayers have been answered. We're chilling then. But she's also on his banner. I mean, that's fine though. That's fine. You know, no guarantee of getting him, but higher chance of getting a four star though. You know. <clears throat> Doggy was telling me about this character. <laughs> well, I feel like this guy already Lo Locha, Locha. Traveling merchant is just what super rich Handsome blonde intergalactic like merchant <laughs> with a huge coffin on his thing. back. Is this the Locha fan club or something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, what about the coffin he carries around with him? Nothing out of the ordinary there, right? Nope. Locha's supposedly yeah, insane yeah. with blade. Yeah, Locha's supposed to be busted apparently. <laughs> so sure everyone needs a conversation starter right especially traveling merchants think about it if you walk past this guy the coffins he's like homie from trigon right just walking around with a gigantic cross like wait a second he sold you a new set of shower curtain rings you know something that kind of makes sense pretty smart i see and if you find people are in need of a few shower curtain rings, I happen upon the finest collection of authentic Sienjo bathroom wear. Beautiful stuff. Low prices, too. It's hot in the original question here. Is Lacha a good guy or villain? Oh, that's, that's an answer we'll have to find out when we play the game. Voice crack. Guess all your trailblazers have to make up your own mind. Why don't we take a look at his ability? Ooh, now we're talking. Lacha is an imaginary type character following the path of abundance. For a man with medical knowledge, it's not surprising. I guess I don't have to go crazy to get what's his name. Well, if we get this or the four star. From his allies. For example, Lacha's skill can restore an ally's HP. Hmm. When the HP of any ally falls below a certain percentage, Lacha uses his skill on them without consuming any skill points. That's sick. Oh. <clears throat> what? That's insane. I'm downloading right now. Let's go. I think he's going to be evil coffin. <laughs> Trojan horse. Okay. Okay. If you've got an enemy that's always buffer them Nah, I would take I would take him over by Lou. That's my theory with no base. Precisely. <laughs> and here's something else. Every time Law Cha uses his skill or ultimate, he grants himself one Let me know how you like it, Shin. Now, when the abyss flower reaches a certain number of stacks, Law Cha deploys a field against the enemy which lasts for a set number of turns. When the field is active, Allies recover a set amount of HP whenever they make an attack. That's and sick. That's not all. 
After unlocking a special trace, attacks against enemies in the field can restore ally HP. Cool, it's like a force field of healing. Wow. During exploration, when Law Cha uses his technique, Mercy of a Fool, his field will be immediately generated at the start of the next battle. Sheesh. Mr. Law Cha, mysterious origins and... Nah, he, he's, he's the one. He's the one. We're going for him. I made my mind up. We're, we're, we're replacing Bailu with him. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Abyss Fire before? Dun dun. Well, we've seen him so far shady as hell, but I don't theorize too much to avoid spoilers. I feel you. I feel you. That's who we're going for. 100%. Here we go. Four star imaginary. Let's see it. <coughs> Cyber Yo, Cyber Fist Bump, how are you? How was work today, dog? Well, from commerce, cargo, I feel you. I feel you. The Air Force, the Commission is in charge of all matters relating to flight. I feel you, dog. I still got 13 minutes? Oh. Oh, my lord. We'll be here. For 13 minutes, at least. I appreciate you, Cyber. I appreciate you. Are you still working tomorrow? She's pretty handy with a star skiff. When she was young, it was Yukong's flying skills that saw her promoted by the general. That's how she joined the Skyfaring Commission. Oof. She soon became an ace. I remember you told me your days off. I just forgot right huh? now. I'm exhausted. I'm sorry. That's not the story I heard. <clears throat> That's not the story I heard. All right, you got me. Here's the director's cut. Yukong ran six red lights in a row. <laughs> Straight in front of the general uh, and... I get the picture. Sometimes rebels get noticed. <laughs> You're only young once. Lights, no, I huh? uh, still don't feel right here in English <laughs> voice actor. I uh, coming from a Hawkeye impact main, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> I get it. Sharp as ever. Coming right up. You got an imaginary type character following the path of harmony. Her skill emboldening salvo grants her two stacks of roaring bowstrings. When Roaring Bowstrings is active, the attack of all allies increases. What? Yukong loses one stack of Roaring Bowstrings with every ally turn. <coughs> In other words, Yukong's skill can increase allies' attack for two turns. You got it. Pretty much. During exploration, using Yukong's technique increases her movement speed. Oh. It also okay. allows her to obtain two stacks of Roaring Bowstrings at the start of the Okay, time. that's valid. Sounds like a good recipe for shaking up. That's valid as hell. <laughs> Using Yukong's basic attack triggers her talent seven layers, one arrow, which deals additional damage and increases the toughness reducing damage of the current attack. Okay. This effect can be triggered again after a set number of turns. Ah. When Yukong I'm liking this a lot. Ultimate, diving Kestrel, she deals imaginary damage to a single target. If Roaring Bowstrings is active, its effect is enhanced. Mm. Crit rate and crit damage okay. Her days on the front lines may be over. Wow. Skills didn't go anywhere. Maybe one day we'll get to see her. I like all of these characters a lot, like a lot. Genuinely, I think I think they all have a, a very special place. It's nice to not just have a character who's supposed to be like a DPS screenshot main. You know what I mean? Okay. Five star like on. <clears throat> crit rate and crit damage buff. What? That's what I'm saying. Off a of four star. I really need to make progress in Star Rail. I'm way behind too. I trust me. I just so beat Kakolia. Very behind as well, Cyber. So <laughs> what does this Lycon like, do? I told you, Kafka. I'm gonna tidy it as soon as version 1.1 finishes down. These ca yeah, these characters seem dope, sure. man. <laughs> the second Lycon is the path for homie, of course. Yeah. Echoes at the carpet. Yeah. The, it looks like a snapshot of Lacha talking to the. <laughs> I like that. Vines are emerging from beneath the lid. Hello, Mama Lemosman. You. I get a sense of mystery and elegance, but there's also a kind of tenderness and fragility here, don't you think? Well, one thing's for sure: if people weren't curious about La Chan's coffin yet, they are now. Just a man in his ornately decorated vine room. <laughs> Yo, I, I like I like uh, this homie, Loach's voice actor. Okay. Um. Okay. 
the drop rate of the five star light cone incessant rain will be boosted. Definitely don't want the Don Hang consolations, that's for sure. We don't want that. We don't want that. can obtain the limited five star character Lacha and four star character Yukon. This is, this is the one we're going to wait for. This is the one we're going to wait for. I got to do something productive. I love you. I love you, Shin. I appreciate you, my love. Mwah. Have a great night, dog. Oh! Okay. That's great. That, that's great. <laughs> Dude, they're doing a like. When we get back, we'll be talking version one point one a bit. Bro, they're they're killing it right now. All right, I'm gonna leave this on the screen for a second. Yo, the characters are unique. I mean, we don't know much about the light cones right now, but the fact that you can get that four star for free from one point two, if you just want to wait the extra like what two months or or like month and three weeks, like that's that's a big deal, man. That's a massive fucking W in my book. They're killing it. Hundred percent killing it right now. <laughs> little bird. Little bird. <laughs> I heard the same thing at the start of the story. Kafka and Silver. Damn it, I missed the code. I got you, Cyber. I got you after, I promise. His mission was to awaken the Trailblazer. Silverwolf's mission was to help Kafka infiltrate the space station systems and locate the hidden Stellarock. Kafka. But that wasn't enough for Silverwolf. Mm, I can believe that. She's been on the IPC's wanna list for as long as I can remember. Mm-hmm. During the invasion, she left behind some kind of digital graffiti. Just her way of letting everyone know Silver Wolf was here. Thank you, of course. I got you. Anytime, anytime. Artists need an outlet. I got you, dog. Like classic Silver Wolf energy to me. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the name of her home world. Punk Lord. <laughs> that is cyberpunk looking head ass, yeah. For sure. For sure. I think she was destined for this kind of behavior. Anyway, in the Star Hunt game event, the Trailblazers receive an invite from the space station's network security engineer, Leonard. They have to help Leonard locate the digital graffiti hidden across the station and uncover the secrets inside. Okay. There are secrets hidden inside the graffiti? That sounds dope. Digital. That sounds Oh, sounds valid. Need to hack into it or something. You might be right. We also get to meet a new genius society member. No. Heard collaborators, screw them. Yo, this man looks Trouble. sus as hell. What do we? I don't want his help. Before somewhere, I think we saw a hologram portrait of him in Herta's office. He's a. I don't want that man's help. A what? Robot genius society member. A robot that's sus. I bet he's got a few hacker skills up his sleeve. No, I bet he's gonna kill us. Alright, let me stop. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, four star. I want his hat. <laughs> that ass, legit. His hat, his hat is kind of fire, low key. Okay, Scrulum, looking kind of handsome there. Uh, which who uses this like on own? If you were the like on either mobile here. I guess this event will be the second time Screwlum's come up against Silverwolf's mischief. Then, old enemies locking horns once again. I hope they give info on the light on. I mean, if not, it's not the biggest deal in the world. You know, it's in Hody Cone, so any of them. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Thank you. I wasn't aware of that. That's how it's work. Appreciate you. The trailblazer can apply them to in-game Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's W. That's Beeping Hill. Oh, got it. Oh. Before the tutorial mission starts. Okay. Complete the event mission to obtain Always Smiling. We can be exchanged in the event shop for limited light cone special super imposition material. That's a stellar jade. That's is that two four-star light cones that we're getting from this? For free, potentially? That Albert merch I'm seeing over there? So well, I guess the battle pass one you have to buy, right? Why don't I introduce you to the HBC's merchandise department? If you guys had your own merch, they'd be sold out in no time. Or 
maybe let's just get back to version 1.1 1. 1. <laughs> in the story thus okay. far Bellabog has finally emerged from the Stellaron shadow but there's a lot left to do the city is going through changes and you guys want to shed some light I heard a thing or two now that the underworld and overworld are reconnected things are definitely heading in a better direction one recent development okay. Bellabog's history museum is getting ready to reopen to the public Museum? I love museums. Oh, don't you wish you could take the exhibits home with you, though? Okay, it's probably one of the events. Exhibits are being stolen. Mm. Anything you'd like to tell us, Melissa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a Damn, son. Found out they had a museum. Damn. Oh, Pointing the finger already. Prime <laughs> suspect. <laughs> Anyway, oh, the Everwinter City Museum Ledger of Curiosities event. The Trailblazer must help Pala track down clues and recover the lost exhibits. <laughs> nice. Well, I love a good who done it. Yeah, sounds great. Well, that's not all. The Trailblazer can take on managerial responsibilities and help run the place. Huh. So what does that involve exactly? I'm glad you asked. The Trailblazer can do things like collect exhibits and enlist other individuals. This is fire. Overall experience I like this. After achieving specific operational goals, they can accumulate funds to expand the museum's exhibits and gradually unlock limited time rewards, such as stellar jade, okay. lost crystals, and self-modeling resin. Mm, sounds like fun. Anything, we, we need that resin as soon as possible. When a limited time event is over, the museum will remain as a mode within the game. Oh. Can return to the museum at any time to check out oh, the Oh, that's cool. Of course, okay. <coughs> Yo, this is a W update, bro. This is a W update. <laughs> they fucking listen, let's go. Nah, legit. Legit, bro. <sighs> Sound like a useful service. Maybe the IPC should look into it. Uh, I'm sure our trailblazers are more interested in the content of the new version. Uh, let's get back on track. <laughs> All right. A researcher from the space station found a combat simulation program of unknown origin called Stellar Flare. Oh, okay. Which contains a series of new challenge stages. Oh, that sounds fun. More challenges? W. I'll take that. No more challenge. game modes going away, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And use any advantages offered by the mechanisms to complete the stage in a mm. Sounds like the forgotten hall to me. The okay. Flare is that the special mechanisms might require completely new ways of thinking about combat. For example, in some stages, using your skill. Shameless plug here, yo. What up, Sean? What's up, my love? When breaking an enemy's toughness is increased. <laughs> But the enemy's toughness will be immediately restored. Okay. Uh, sounds pretty cool, but I'm sure Silver Wolf will take care of it in one. Time. I like this. I like this a lot because you have to think. What if I haven't leveled up enough characters? I don't think you. I, I don't think like if you just auto play, it's probably not going to just complete it. Hi, how are you? Hi, Sean. Oh, you get trial characters. Yeah. Has a trial character to the that's 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 valid. That's fair. Get that. <laughs> oh yeah, brother. The Garden of Plenty event. Recently, the cosmos has entered a turbulent cycle. Oh, is this extra materials? The reality data contained within them has grown exponentially. Uh, yes. Ooh, which means... Oh yes. <laughs> it means that over a fixed yes. time period, trailers yes. have a set number of daily attempts to obtain double the reward. Yes. Leveling up. Yes, let's go, the next bro. Event we're talk about is called Yo, there's so many events. When should what the hell? If you wanted someone to rally you until you saw the stars on Hawkeye, you should have called me. Yo, what up, Riku? I love you, my love. This fucking guy. How you feeling, BB? Messed up my prog, bro. It's a fog. has asked the Trailblazer to help collect monster materials for use in her research topic. If the Trailblazer collects and submits the experimental materials required on a given day, they can receive corresponding rewards. I got a question, Don. Fire away. These are space fire station away, and Bellabog events, fire right? Fire away. Aren't there any events or missions on the Sienjo Lofu? Nope. Beat me to it. Oh. That's exactly what I was going to bring up. In Damn, 70? Bro. Three new companion missions are destined for the Sienjo Lofu. Oh, okay. Lofu. Okay, cool, cool. Bailu, Yin Ching, and Lo Chak. 
As for the specifics, I'm gonna keep that a secret for now. We can't go spoiling all the Dude, they're giving a lot of content. Like a lot. Work over? Let's go, Cypher, you're free! W, I'm happy to hear that. How was work today, dog? <coughs> How was it? Boring, I tell you. Oh yeah, Stammy. I was wondering who Sorry. she was. Well, all I'll sure say about is that. that she and the Sienjo have a complicated past. And her appearance on the Sienjo. Maybe six calls. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. We'll take those though. We we'll take those. <coughs> Imagine giving a lot of content to gamers. I do have a little info on blah, 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 blah. another update. Oh, sure. Okay. Interested? Yeah. Uh, sure, I Give me what I want! Well, if nobody's that interested... Give me what I want! I, I, I just fucking... She's honey oh, dicking me. You're interested, right? <clears throat> I got paid regardless. Ooh. I don't give a fuck. No, exactly. Exactly. That's the attitude to have. That's Let him know. Good boy. <laughs> Bitch. Like money. Melissa. The check-in event Gift of Odyssey will also be arriving in version 1.1. Yes. For the length of this version, yeah. as long as Trailblazers log in... Yeah, oh wait, uh, yes. They can acquire yes. Star Rail special passes. I love to see that. Ten free warps? I love nice. to see that, bro. Version 1.1 will also see some system updates. Oh. When Trailblazers need to obtain leveling materials that only a certain type of enemy can produce... They can instantly teleport to an area where the enemy is present. Oh! So pinpoint the precise location of the enemy. Bro! Marker. Sounds like a real target. Wow! Wait until you hear this. Once the enemy in question is defeated, the marker will automatically move to the location of the We got that in Genshin. After all marked enemies on a map have been defeated, trailblazers can continue to pinpoint enemies on other maps. This process can be repeated until all daily respond enemies of a certain type have been defeated. This feels better than Genshin Anniversaries? I my way to the studio today. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly, not to. During combat, trotters that have lost their way may randomly enter battle. As long as the trotter is defeated before it manages to flee, additional leveling materials can be obtained. <laughs> what the, what the fuck? What is this? What is this? What is this? In order to help trailblazers stay in touch, version 1.1 also has a friend chat function. Oh, that's dope. Do mean, that's dope too. This cold stale McDonald's is French fries are better than the Genshin anniversaries. That is true. That is true. Free 10 pulls, so it's definitely at least on par with Genshin. 100%. Fist bump, Rikachu. How are you, dog? How are you? Hope you're having a great day today. Because I song slaps. <coughs> so you don't want to add me? Happy I didn't go to bed so we could react to this. Auto battling star. <laughs> hey man, listen. Auto battling with these great ass events though. Shit, I'll take it. Sorry to jump on the bandwagon here, Albert, but you're a celebrity anchor for the IPC. Everyone wants to be your friend. That's me, bro. I'm the celebrity anchor. Fine, but I'm switching my account the next chance I get. Sleepers for the week, true, true. Wait, what did Rico say? Hi, I'm Rico. Bro, I got banned on Honkai. Rico, how, dog? <laughs> how the fuck did you get banned on Honkai, man? I got banned for using macros. No shot. That's crazy. Uh, guys, I'll get you this uh, in a moment. This code. Third party software. That sounds about right. That sounds like something I've ever seen. Maybe make a new account? Question mark. Looks like our special program is. <laughs> we got Riku, Rika, and Rico. Yeah. That's the first guess in the program. You guys got any thoughts? Fucking, you guys need to get new memes. Aww, it's been an honor to be on the show. W W program, man. We covered a lot of w program. Now I'm even more excited for the updates. Fingers crossed, I get Silverwall. <laughs> yeah, seriously, same. Great. How you feeling? I feel like I've got more questions than I came in with. Yeah, no, what I think I think it's really Lodge good. Take the story in. I think I think it's really good. The museum. And what about those companion visits? <clears throat> Guess we'll have to find out the answers in game. Mm, yeah, for real. <laughs> so happy Lurch is going to be the second phase of Yukong. Me too. Surprised. Gives me more time to farm. Now, but this was the first time I got. I think this is just a. 
going so specific because I bought Welkin. So cool. Reaper, I'll give you the five bucks, buddy. I got you. Then again, I I'll reimburse I you. Yeah, more time to save. Legit. Legit. W program, man. See you on the flip side. Yeah, Rico, I, I'll, I'll pay for you. Don't worry about that, buddy. Yeah, W program, chat. I think it was great. I think it was great. Um, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. Uh, dope characters. Dope events. A lot of events. A lot of really good events. A lot of gameplay. I mean, like, I don't know... I don't know, um... I don't, I don't have any critiques, bro. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't think we're getting any main story, but, like, you know, like, the game just came out. You know what I mean? Like... We're getting like what? What is that? Four, five fucking events, three great characters and shit. Like W, I love it. And ten free pulls. Fuck it. Like why not? You know what I mean? So W, we take these.